What's going on guys? Joe with Odyssey Off-Road. Back at you with another Renegade video. So today, we are installing, well, have installed, new tires on the, on the Renegade. These are Tusk Megabytes. They're the same tires if you guys have been on, uh, around the channel for a bit. I put these on the Grizzly when I had them. Awesome tires. Um, super durable. They're 8-ply. Uh, great traction on all conditions. I tested them and uh, they did great. A little bit heavier than stock. I'll get into that a little bit in the video. But just kind of quick walk around right now. And then what we'll do is I uh, recorded a little bit in between when I was taking the tires and wheels and swapping them out on the uh, from the old ones to the new ones and did some comparison side by side with the tires off the rims, on the rims. So just got, you guys can get a kind of an idea. These tires are much um, thicker sidewall because they're 8-ply than the uh, stock hole shots, ITP hole shots. So getting the beadlock ring on the tire is a bit of a challenge <laughs> um, just because, because the, the sidewall is just super thick. But a little finesse and you get it. Kind of work them around, work them around, work them around until you get it to the proper torque um, and then the w one thing we did notice was um, compared to the hole shots that were on there the original hole shots and one of the reasons we wanted to get rid of them was because super soft sidewalls uh, they puncture pretty easy they're great for like the woods I think in an up north in a northeast uh, area and region but here in the desert man it's brutal and those things just do not hold up um, and they just don't do well out here in the hard pack desert terrain uh rocky um sandy kind of areas just 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 didn't do well at all um and they and the back and they don't slide well in the rear because they're kind of like balloon shaped you know you guys have the renegades you know these sit a little more flatter um so hoping kind of give it a little bit more finesse where you can kind of slide the rear end around a little bit easier without feeling like the side walls are rolling over on the tire and it's going to tip um so what we're going to do is we're going to hop on it we're going to take it out on a trail, uh, test it out, see what my thoughts are on it as we're using it, going down the pavement and how it drives, getting out some dirt, um, and then kind of get off the bike after that, talk about some more, what my impressions were, and um, address any other things that come up come to mind while I'm riding it. But I'll leave you guys with these clips here of me getting them installed. Again, these are the Tusk Megabytes. They're the factory size, 25 by 8 front, 25 by 10 rear. So I'm going to get my helmet on. You guys watch the clips of me getting some of these uh, tires installed, and we'll catch up with you on the quad. All right, guys, got the one tire off the rim. And you can see, with neither tire on a rim, uh, the new ones are going to be way... I mean, they're both 25-inch tires, and it's probably in the center to the center over an inch. Uh, let me get a level on that, actually, we'll check it out. All right, I got them right next to each other, so you can see, probably about an inch and a half, uh, or at least an inch taller than the hole shots. And width-wise, just the tread width alone is at least an inch. So, it's going to be significant improvement um, in stability, ride quality, and a little little uh, height, little ground clearance. So that's what we're shooting for. So I'm going to get these suckers mounted up, get the fronts on, and then uh, start working on the rears. All right, guys. So I got the one mounted on the machine, and I still got the uh, factory front on the other side. So what I did was when I had them off, the two tires uh, off the wheel, put them on a scale. Stock OEM tires weigh 22 pounds, I'm sorry, uh, 16 pounds, and the new ones weigh 22.6 pounds. So you're, you're gaining six and a half pounds about um, per tire on all four corners. Obviously, this is a Renegade 1000, not going to be that big of a, you know, I can hardly feel it probably, uh, but the difference in traction and durability is just going to be way outweigh the little bit of weight. And you can see the difference, that tire versus the other tire on there. So far, I'm happy with it, uh, with the way it looks. 
definitely got a wider footprint. They both tires too, just so uh, for comparison's sake, they both have the factory recommended, uh, Canyon recommended seven PSI in each tire. So no difference there. Uh, that one's at seven and that one's at, that one's at seven there. So um, we'll get all four of them on and then we'll get back to you and we'll talk about it and uh, do a few more comparisons. And here you can see the old tire next to the new ones. Obviously new ones are mounted now, but just for a little bit of reference, and you can see the width, the section. These are a lot rounder of a tire. Um, these are a little more flatter, a little more traction you're gonna get from them. And hoping a little bit more stability too. A little bit, these side walls on these tires are very, uh, very spongy, very soft. Um, you could, so what probably can do is run these at even at a lower air pressure than the stock ones and still be a more durable tire. These, should, these things are just, um, they're good tires. Uh, not, they're just not great for out here in the desert, in all honesty. I mean, they just, they wear down. Um, you can't rotate them, they're directional. So these you can flip from one side to the other. They're a non-directional tire. So, and they're much better looking tire too. So we'll get the backs on and then we'll finish our uh, walk around and do a little ride review also. See what we think about it. All right, got it fired up. We're gonna head out on the road. I'm gonna hit some trail. Tundra's looking fresh, got it washed. So let's see what these tires do on the Renegade compared to the uh, stock ITP whole shot ATRs. Got my boots on because, uh, not that we're gonna be going crazy or riding long, but this Renegade, Boots and shorts, what do you think of that look? Um, the boot, the Renegades run really hot. It burn your leg if you don't wear the boots. So, got the boots on. So, I'm running the tires at uh, 7 PSI right now. See how they feel. 7 PSI is what uh, the K&M Renick uh, recommends for the stock tires. And we, we are at stock sizes, so... Uh, running stock recommended air pressure and we may adjust that but just kind of starting point um, I have a feeling that these tires may be able to be run at a lower pressure because they're much stiffer than the ITPs um, sidewall wise and so we might get a less flex out of them at 7 psi than um, we would at a lower pressure so we'll see comfort wise and let's see how she does on the main road here smooth running tire for sure she's run smooth on the pavement uh, which I kind of knew that from the um, Grizzly I had these tires on the Grizzly I'm gonna flip her in sport mode and uh, we'll see what she does on the dirt I kind of had a good feel for how the Renegade was on the dirt with the ITPs and as I had one, so I got a lot of seat time on mine. And then uh, this here, my wife's. Oh yeah, definitely uh, slides way better. You can tell that already. Um, It feels pretty good in the dirt here. Um, we had some rain recently, as you can kind of see a little bit with the ground. It's not as dry as usual.
way they feel um, definitely a little more planted than the hole shots were. For sure. And I kind of figured that would be the case with them being a kind of a flatter profile. Um, that does translate into the raw feel, for sure. You can definitely feel that. setting here hopefully the sun's not not in your eyes and the camera here and uh, ruining everything but we'll get going the other direction here in a bit gonna take this trail to the end and we'll get a four-wheel drive a shot too there's a little rocky uh, hill up ahead we can kind of see how she feels on that A little muddy, a little muddy. Oh yeah, definitely going around that turn right there and uh, giving it the gas. And it, it slides way better than the whole shot did. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the four-wheel drive on here, just to kind of see how the front tires feel when they, you know, with the pull. We got it in sport mode, flip the 4x4 four four on. wife's machine she hasn't driven it yet uh, I'm the first person trying out these tires and uh, I'm gonna come home with this thing full of mud she's gonna be a little upset but that's all right we'll wash it off for her man I tell you I do really like the way it feels I still got it full drive see how she pulls Somebody was out here playing around, it looks like. Maybe a side by side, it looks pretty wide. Those little ruts right there, those little G outs, those are the one thing that, uh, that's the one downfall of this machine that just doesn't, they don't hit them well um, compared to another machine does. Just feels so heavy in the front, it just dives down so hard. Let's put it in two wheel drive back that same way. Don't kind of stop in that corner by that grassy area. Let's talk about my thoughts on it. Traction is terrific in two-wheel drive uh, with these tires. Let's stop over here and we'll talk about it a little bit. All right, so, I mean, right away you can tell tires are a little stiffer, for sure. Uh, I think we could probably drop them down a pound, maybe run them at six, see how they do. Um, not a huge, I mean, you don't notice it, it's not jarring or anything, but you can tell the, the, the tires are just not given as much as, say, the, you know, the, the factory tires do. So. The sidewalls don't bulge as much. You know, you can tell that when you're riding and you're going over some stuff. The uh, bottom of the tire doesn't squish down as much. Uh, these are much stiffer tires. So I think it'd probably be safe to run them at six pounds. 
And I think we're, the two of us may go out on a ride this weekend. So I might air him down to about six, let her ride it like that, see what she thinks. Or maybe even just leave him at seven, see, see how she feels with it. Traction is there. Traction is unbelievable. Uh, night and day better than the, than the ITPs. And um, that's, you know, uh, it's going to be obvious with these, you know, lugs on these tires. You got way more of a contact patch than you did with the uh, ITP tires. So, you know, the ITP tires are a little, a little rounder, uh, softer. Uh, lugs were way more spaced out. So these, although an aggressive tire, they do very good on a variety of terrains. And you can get in some mud and some slop that's spaced enough where they're going to eject stuff and not get clogged up right away on you. And they're also got that center lug pattern where they're a little bit tighter. So on the hard pack, they're going to ride smooth. They're siped. So if you're on pavement, it's wet a little bit. You know, you got to do some pavement. It's going to ride, going to handle that well also. Um, I'd imagine they do really well in the snow. I don't have any experience with that. But looks-wise, awesome. Two thumbs up. I think it looks wait, night, night and day better. Um, give you another shot from the back. Looks great. Um, the sidewall protection is going to be much better, specifically on the front. The fronts, the factory front ITPs really left the uh, the, the, the beadlock rings very vulnerable because they were, they ran so skinny. Um, they didn't really run true to size at all. And so there really wasn't much width on the, uh, bulging out past the rim, where now you got that here. You can see, you don't see the wheel anymore when you step, when you look down on it. You got a little bit, you got way more sidewall protection. You got a deeper uh, channel here in the in the tire for the bead. So you got some bead protection. If these were standard wheels and non-beadlock wheels, I mean, the rim would be completely inset in there. Um, but the beads, ob beadlocks obviously do stick out a little bit. But you got way more protection now than you did with the stock tires. Uh, these beadlock rings would scrape up super easy. Clip rocks and all that. Uh, you can see, you know, she's made a couple things already. When she had the stock tires on there, these tires are going to offer way more protection. Um, so definitely happy about that. That's going to be that's going to be awesome. And so we'll see what happens um, with t tire pressure. Well, I think maybe we'll leave it at seven for a while, run it, see how she does, and then maybe drop it down. And I just realized the hood isn't on correctly. I gotta fix that side. It's one thing with these Renegades to. Getting the hood on and off is a pain in the neck um, to check the air filter. But, but yeah, I mean, I think two thumbs up on the tires. I figured they would handle well uh, because I did have them on the Grizzly and they handled awesome on that. And night and day difference here on the, on the Renegade. I mean, look at the stance. What a difference. So I think that'll about wrap this one up. Um, one more thing to note, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier in the video, but so now the, the front tires, the stock ITPs do run shorter. They don't measure, and these don't either. They don't measure on the, on the machine a true 25. They're at about 25, 24 and a quarter. They're uh, mounted on the machine with the weight of the machine on it at seven PSI. If you put a level across measure, they're about 24 and a quarter. So now we're even though front and rear. So we did pick up a little height in the front running uh, true 10 inches of ground clearance straight across now. Uh, where before we were a little less than that in the front with the stock tires. Stock tires ran, you know, very small in the front as comparison to the rear. They weren't even at all. Uh, these now run, you know, same height front and back with these, with these tires. So I'm happy about that. Um, we were debating on going up to a bigger size tire, but... I think keeping it at the 25s, keeping the center of gravity low for her. Um, we don't really get into situations where it's ground clearance is an issue. So I think the 10 inches is plenty. And I think just these, the flatter profile of these and the better traction is going to make a night and day difference. Um, curious what they'll do in the sand, going taking taking into the sand dunes because they're a little bit heavier. And... Um, you know, about six pounds heavier a tire for the rears. 
um, oh, for the fronts, the fronts were six pounds difference. I didn't weigh the backs, that's my bad. I should have weighed the back ones, I just weighed the fronts. And the fronts were a six, uh, about a six pound difference in weight. So probably, you're probably looking at something similar uh, with the rears as well. So you figure picking up six pounds, all four corners, uh, which I, you don't even feel it. I mean, the power on this thing is unbelievable. So um, that about wraps it up. Hey guys, follow us on Instagram and um, Facebook. On Instagram, we're Odyssey underscore off-road. Facebook, we're just Odyssey off-road. And uh, smash that like button. Smash the subscribe button on your way out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Ride safe out there.